Hello, this is Alex from Cables.gl. I'd like to show you the surface scatter operator. And this operator is very easy to set up, but it has changed a little bit. So uh, we're going to go over what we need to do to make it work. And I have this patch open right here made by Pander, and it's a really great illustration of how to uh, use this operator to, for example, in here, make a little planet uh, made out of different meshes and then they're scattered all over this sphere. And then you get this kind of interesting uh, effect of um, meshes on top of a sphere. And uh, then there's some grass wobbling going on and it looks really nice. And uh, let's start a new patch. Actually, I'm gonna open one I have here and uh, kind of spoil what we're gonna do. But um, let's just delete everything and start from scratch. All right, so what do we need? We need a mesh instancer, so mesh instancer. And we're not going to use the mesh instancer from texture, although we might look at how to do kind of a similar thing with it later. So we're going to use this um, mesh instancer that uses array inputs to uh, place the meshes where they need to go. And then we're going to put in this scatter surface scatter operator. All right, so let's take a look at the surface scatter. It has quite a few uh, parameters, um, and let's just go over it. So it needs to be triggered, okay, so we'll plug it in. Then it needs a geometry in here, I see. And then we also have some settings for how many uh, instances will be kind of scattered all over this geometry that we give to this operator. And then we kind of have some um, fairly simple settings for choosing the location of these instances. So for example, the distribution could be on the vertices or on the triangle centers, sides, or just randomized. Uh, then we have um, a selection dropdown, which is quite cool. And uh, it will basically uh, either look at the geometry and randomly select all of your um, distribution points. So for example, in here I have vertex selected, so we'll just randomly pick different uh, locations to to place these instances. And then there's sequential. So with sequential, you can cover the entire model with um, other meshes. And we'll take a look at that. Then there's a random seed, so you can kind of randomize the uh, locations a bit more. Then there's a size output. And you'll see here, one of the ports is a scale. And they'll just directly go into this mesh instancer. And then the size uh, settings here, they will allow us to kind of set the min and max, and then the, they will randomly be chosen for the mesh instancer to then uh, change the different scale of our meshes that we're spreading all over this geometry. Then we have a limiter and then a random rotation for these instances. Okay, so we have this thing, and let's just give it a sphere and then plug it in. So this will be our mesh on which we will spread other ones, right? We'll scatter something on top of this sphere. And I'm gonna hide it for a sec and then see the output ports and they're already populated, right? That's what we need. So we can just uh, plug these into the mesh instancer in order. So positions, scales, and then rotations. And then for the mesh instancer, we of course need to give um, a geometry for that, right? So I'll just put down a pyramid and then plug it in, hide it. And I think it's still too big. So we will make all these numbers a lot smaller. Okay, we're getting somewhere, I'm getting somewhere. All right, so, and I'll put down an orbit control so we can spin around this uh, scattered mesh. Okay, so we have this thing going on, right? And you see all the pyramids are pointing up, and that's kind of strange because we did plug in our rotations, and um, we kind of expect them, like in this example, to spread and rotate the correct way around our surface. So what's the problem here? If you mouse over the port, you'll see that it says quaternions, right? So 
Here in the mesh instancer, we need to make sure our rotation type is not Euler, but Quaternion. So once we do that, we're getting somewhere where we need to be. So let's make these a bit more even, maybe. Like that. And how about a material now, right? So we'll give it like a Fong. Fong material. So now if we unhide our sphere, we'll see that the pyramids are neatly um, scattered all over the sphere. And uh, we can play around now with the surface scatter operator a bit more. So uh, if we look at random seed and change it, you'll see that I'll choose some random points. And then this number of instances will allow us to increase uh, all of the number of instances on our sphere, all right? And I'll hide this again. Okay, so now we have this cool thing going on. And then we can also try turning off random rotations. So now we have like really neat pyramids all over the place. Uh, what else? Uh, we can play around with the size a bit. And now it's a bit random. So we have uh, pyramids going from size 0 to 0 0.5 or somewhere like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, what else can you do now? Well, you can just do all the traditional stuff with a mesh instancer. So um, for example, in that other example, we had <laughs> um, a wobble, right? So we can try that. Wobble, vertex wobble. And then I'll give it a timer. And then see what happens. We'll increase the area of effect a bit and now our instances are wobbling around in space so that's pretty much it well let's actually look at this sequential and uh it's kind of a gotcha so i want to i want to cover it before i end so when you use sequential you might notice um that not your entire uh, incoming geometry is covered. But for example, if you have random, it kind of looks pretty good already, right? So it, it visually looks like a bunch of it is getting covered. But once uh, you choose sequential, you'll see that actually you need way more instances. So just remember to turn this number up, right? And then you will sequentially populate your incoming geometry. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So <laughs> um, comment below if you have any issues or you really like this uh, operator. It uh, helps out. Super cool um, for you to try this and uh, make something neat and post it publicly on cables.gl. Thank you. Bye.